Okay, let's move on to example 2. Expand the following, which is part A, 3x multiplied by y plus z. I'm going to explain with a little bit more detail. All right, this can be seen as a rectangle with side 3x and the other side is y plus z. So you can see there's a length of y followed by a length of z. So if I need to find this area, on the left, this can be seen as 3x multiplied by y, which I will obtain 3xy. Similarly, if I want to find the area on the right-hand side, this will be seen as 3x multiplied by z, so I will have 3xz. And the total answer, please sum that up together to find the area. Okay, so this is how you interpret the question. Now, there are two methods to doing so. So one method is what we call the multiplication frame, which is very similar to what I've just done. Basically, please construct a table where you have 3x multiplied by y plus z. So, multiply your 3x with y, you have 3xy. Multiply your 3x with z, you will have 3xz. Last but not least, please sum up your final answer together and your answer will be 3xy plus 3xz. Alright, that's method 1 using multiplication frame. Method 2, you can make use of the rainbow expansion where you multiply term by terms inside the bracket. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, so it looks like a rainbow. First, please multiply your 3x to y. And what will we get? 3xy. Once you're done with the first term in the bracket, please move on to the second term. Okay, 3x multiplied by z. So in this case, we will have a 3xz. Same thing, sum them up together. And you will get the same answer regardless which method you use. Okay, feel free to use the method that appeals to you most. For me, I'm going to make use of the rainbow expansion for my next few because this will be the straightforward method. So let's move on to part B. 2P multiplied by 4Q minus R. Same thing, term by term expansion. Let's do the first one. 2P multiplied by 4Q. Number multiplied by number, which is 2 times 4, 8. Before you have your P as well as Q. Next. 2p multiplied by negative r. Same thing. 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2. Before you have your pr. And there you have it. This is our final answer. Moving on to part c. Same thing. Term by term rainbow expansion. Negative 4a multiplied by 5b. Negative 4 multiplied by 5, we will get a negative 20. Before you write down your a and b. Once you're done, please move on to a second term in the bracket. Negative 4a multiplied by positive 3c. Negative 4 multiplied by positive 3, you get a negative 12, followed by a ac. And there you have it. I'm done with my example. So now, please write down the solution. Think through. Once you're done, stop the video. Go on to try it too and finish up the three questions before you check your answer in the next video.